I'm Jess Dopkin, and my piece is titled Everything I've Got. Never thought you come around for time. I saw you, my heart stopped. I mean, I think for a while I've been really interested in questions about artistic process and my own artistic process, and part of this is kind of a point where I'm at personally and in my work of kind of wanting to now put the focus on looking at that process. It also came out of um, a conversation with a friend of mine who was an artist who passed away, and before she did, it was kind of a discussion of what happens to all the work that she had left to make. And in a way, I think that's a question for all of us as artists all the time of like the work that gets made and then all the work that doesn't get made and kind of where and how do those ideas live. My work is inspired by a lot of different things. Um, a lot of it is just about the everyday, I would say, my everyday experience and kind of how and where I walk through my life. Um, uh, yeah, I'm really just inspired by things around me and how I and other people kind of uh, process experience and the conversation that comes out of that. It's like, uh, in a lot of ways, um, it, part of my interest in making work is about then bringing, and this is what I love about live performance, is bringing it to an audience and that quality of engagement. That's kind of where, for me, the work really lies. Um, this has been an exciting process for me. It's a piece that started germinating a couple of years ago now, and I had presented it in a much earlier form uh, at the Rhubarb Festival two years ago. And after this Hatch presentation, I'm going to be bringing it back to Rhubarb, but before it was like about a 25-minute piece, and now it will be a full-hour presentation. For me, as a performance artist, the work takes place and really only takes place when it's met by an audience. So um, in a lot of ways when people ask me, oh, well, what's this piece about and what's going to happen? Like I can't, like what I love about it is that I can't answer that until Sunday's performance and when that conversation takes place. Um, uh, for me, this piece is part of my kind of evolution, my growth as an artist, and it, I feel like it's kind of part of a continuing conversation. So for some audience maybe that hasn't seen my work, this will just be like a starting place in that conversation. And for people who are familiar with my work, this will kind of uh, be part of, I really see this as just kind of one piece in a larger body of work, and that's this piece is very much informed, especially because it's about my artistic process, it's very much informed by other work that I've made, and hopefully, possibly other work that I'll have the opportunity to make. Um, and one of the most exciting things for me is that I'm now working with a team of creative collaborators on it. And that has been like just an amazing experience for me and bringing them into the process and the show just kind of becoming something much bigger than it was.